All right, folks, welcome back to the uh, Moonshine Radio Labs. Today we'll talk about uh, AQ FM demodulation using GNU Radio with uh, recorded IQ files. So you can uh, download this file and follow along step by step using GNU Radio. So what we'll be doing is we'll be recording the RF from our satellite dish there pointing up into space. The RF will then go through what's called a IQ demodulator and then we will record that IQ file to a data file and that's what we will then process using GNU Radio and more specifically we will FM demodulate this signal uh, and get the audio. So the local oscillator is tuned close to the transmitting frequency and we're simply going to record the I and Q to a file. And the IQ sample rate is 48 kilohertz. And here's a simplified idea of what we'll be doing. We'll be bringing in the IQ file using GNU Radio to FM demodulate it and then send that to the computer sound card. Now you folks can follow along. The file selected in blue there is in a link below this video. So go ahead and download that. And now you can follow along with your own version of GNU Radio and do this project alongside. So how we will be doing the FM demodulation is something called a polar discriminator. Wow, that's quite a complicated term. Uh, basically, we're taking the IQ data, we're doing a poor man's uh, a derivative or difference. And once we have that difference, we're simply going to take the uh, angle of that equation and that will give us the audio that is in the FM signal. So X of N again is the incoming IQ data. We're going to take one side to the multiplier. The other side we're going to delay by one sample. Complex conjugate, basically a fancy way of saying we're going to multiply the imaginary part or the Q part by negative one. So we flip its sign and then we multiply those two things together. And what that's doing is giving us a, uh, a type of uh, differentiating the signal, if you will. And since we simply care about the phase term, that's why we're after this we're going to take the angle to extract the audio that's in the FM signal. All right. First step, bring the file, the IQ file, into GNU Radio. And this flow graph that I show here uh, is how you do that. So follow along, download that file, pop these flow graphs into your GNU version, uh, hit the play button, and you should see this uh, FFT pop up. As you can see, there is the uh, FM signal. However, one thing you might notice is that the FM signal is not quite at baseband. It has a frequency offset, looks like around 11 kilohertz. We want to shift this signal down to zero hertz. How do we do that? Well, we're going to take use of what's called the frequency shifting property. Oh boy. Basically, we're going to take the incoming signal and multiply it by a complex phasor to shift the spectrum anywhere we want. So in our case, we want to take the 11 kilohertz and shift it down. So we will have to multiply it by a negative 11 kilohertz phaser. And just to state it for you another way, we'll be using property two here. All right, the incoming signal is X. We're multiplying it by phaser and that will shift it down. In our case, it will be a negative 11 kilohertz phaser. And that's what we've done here. The incoming signal is the file source. We're multiplying that signal by a negative 11 
uh, kilohertz complex phaser. And now when we look at the uh, FFT, we should see our signal at zero hertz. And indeed, we do. So we've done a good job to getting our signal truly at baseband. Now that it's at zero hertz, now we can do the FM demodulation. Oh boy, and that's what we have going on here. So after we multiplied it by the negative 11 uh, kilohertz complex phaser, we then are running the signal through that polar discriminator. <laughs> and the complex to arg, that's GNU's radio's way of saying take the angle of the complex samples. Uh, for those that really want to know what that is, it's the ATAN2 math function. We're multiplying it then by 0.3, just so the audio is not too loud. And then we send that to the computer sound card at a 48 kilohertz rate. So that is how you can demodulate FM signals in IQ space. Um, most software-defined radio, you just click the button on the GUI and say you want FM, and it does this. But I figured I'll show you the exact details of what's going on uh, under the hood. So go ahead and download that file and uh, try it yourself. And I'll leave you folks with a teaser here. Uh, these are two examples of top-of-the-line vector signal generators. Uh, you won't find these at a ham radio store because they're a little pricey. But just wanted to show you folks that you know all this IQ data stuff isn't just some mathematical trickery, that it really is used in modern equipment probably including the phone that you may be watching this video on, uh, is using IQ data under the hood to demodulate the radio digital signals. And this thing shown here are certain test equipment that can be used to create uh, those signals for test. So the more you learn about this stuff, the more you'll see how it all fits into our modern radio communication world. Now, if you don't like this modern stuff and would rather go see videos about how people build crystal detectors, well, by all means, go uh, search around. But if you would like to see how this stuff is done in the modern 21st century, well, I figured I'd show you those type of videos to kind of show you what we are currently doing as opposed to what we did over 100 years ago. Well, that's Moonshine Radio Laboratories talk for today. Thanks for watching.